What's up, everyone? The gaming guys are here, and we're and today we're uh, do, doing a discussion of the of the Nintendo event that that just passed uh, last Thursday. Wait, was it last kinda, Thursday? Kind of crazy to think it's already almost been a week since that shit happened. Yes. <laughs> and here we are discussing about it right now. So, who would like to share our opinions first? We're late to the party. <laughs> <laughs> Lol. Yeah. Uh, and then we still got the Fire Emblem event. Well, do, do you want to talk about the prices first before we get, in, get into all that? Into uh, the games? Yeah. Sure, why not? Yeah, because that's 300 that, bucks. Yeah, that was the first thing they talked about when the uh, when when the when the event came on came on. So yeah, it's gonna be uh, 300 bucks in the U.S. March I don't know the exchange rate between all the other countries, but I, 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 I saw in, I saw for Japan it was like twenty nine thousand something yen. Yen, yes. And um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, I'm gonna say right now. I'm gonna say that three hundred dollars is really not a bad price compared to four hundred dollars from the PS4 launched. Uh, for a handheld like this, I think three hundred is acceptable. Yes. So I'm not I'm not miffed about the price. In fact, I basically I paid three hundred bucks for my PlayStation Four, so I was like, I don't I really don't care. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, didn't they yeah. talk about uh, region locking? They said oh yeah, there's no region locking on this thing. Which means Good. That we, which means that we can play uh, so, Asian imports on our Nintendo Switch. So uh, import enthusiasts have at it. <laughs> yeah. Also, and good news, this this gonna be uh, online, but the downside is that it's gonna be a paid uh, service until oh. fall. Yeah, until fall. I mean, it's gonna be a free. It's gonna be free during the launch day, but no, it's, uh, it's, it's free until fall. When, when does fall start? Like October or September. Yeah, October. And then it's September. So it means you get, I mean, you get at least uh, a few months of free online. Seven months, to be exact. Yeah. But also, uh, it, let me, let honest, me mention... I'm, I'm not really too upset about that, you know, because I, cause I knew it was going to happen sooner or later. I also I think people admit... are a bit upset because, you know, you know, obviously if you're, you know, if you're like a PC person, you don't have to pay it for online, yeah. but also because Nintendo hasn't really done, like, paid online at all. Because yeah. the the Wii and the Wii U were both they they had free online. Yeah, so it's pretty much be a PS4 and Xbox One in a nutshell. I believe we have to pay like ten dollars a month. That's just a rumor, though. Ten dollars a month just to play games online for the Nintendo Switch. I'm all in for that, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not one hundred percent sure on that one. I'm kind of hoping to have a plan good. because, like, you know, with the PS4 and the X bone, you know, you pay sixty bucks, you get you get free on you get you basically get the uh, gold and plus memberships for you know an entire year. Yeah. So I'm hoping they have some kind of plan like that with the Switch, but only time will tell. Indeed, be able to play games online and free games every once in a while. Oh yeah, that. Okay, that's basically video game rental. It might as well be. Wait, did they say something about voice chat? I could have sworn they said something about voice chat. Voice chat's now a phone app. Oh. What? <laughs> if you want to talk online, you have to use your phone and get an app that lets you do that. Or you can just do it. Or you can just do what we do and just use a chat program on your computer for free. <laughs> oh, I wasn't here for. I also basically talk myself about it. I'm like, oh, that's awesome. Skype or Discord. Speaking of which, Discord's apparently supposed to be getting a video chat and screen share sometime this year. Sweet. Now I'm people can drop it Skype. It basically means Skype can die. <laughs> Skype's been dead. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a shambling corpse at this point. <laughs> Just like Miiverse. Miiverse dead, too. <laughs> oh, yeah, I forgot. They, they're killing Miiverse. <laughs> yeah, Miiverse. <laughs> It's been this since the, since the stupid ass update, meaning that if you get banned, you had to get a new Wii U. Wait, they're doing that? 
Yeah, that, that, happened, that happened like a few like a few months ago, like like I've in the middle of last banned, year. So I can't I can speak for that. I didn't even know they updated it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. If you get banned from May first, you have to get another Wii U. I'm not even lying. That sounds like what Blizzard does when they ban you from one of their <laughs> one of their one of their games. You have to buy a whole new unit just to play the game again. <laughs> wow. Wow. Oh, did we talk about how the games are going to be cartridges now? Uh, we might have mentioned that in a video at some point, but we might as well just yeah. say it again. Yeah, this thing's using cartridges, and I love that. And actually, and it's full of really, shit. what? It's not full of shit. Cartridges it's small as shit, not full of shit. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, the game cards are pretty small. They, they okay. I, I only saw a picture of like Pro Jared holding one. Yeah. But it was like it looked about the size of a of a 3DS card, but I could be wrong about that. Actually, even uh, though on 3DS I don't know what the cartridge looks like, ironic, huh? <laughs> from from what I saw, I saw that it looked like it could be the same size as, as a PlayStation Vita cartridge. Yo, know, everyone's saying that. I see it's the freaking 3DS cartridge. <laughs> Yeah, and, uh, honestly, I like the return to cards, to cartridges, though, because you know that means basically faster to like non-existent load times, and because yeah. SD cards are just able to hold so much uh, more than a disc. Oh yeah, yeah, that's what yeah. I, I, I was, I was just talking about SD cards. I was that's just about to mention that that the cartridges actually hold more storage and memory than Blu-ray discs, and load faster. Yeah. <laughs> I was telling my friend this, who I, who, I, who I visit in real life, she says it's a good deal. She says, she says she's glad they're not using CDs anymore. Well, like, again, they, they take longer to load, and that and the, uh, I don't oh, know why, I don't know why they do this. Hold, oh, well, so, hold on. Okay. Um, no, speaking of that, one thing I am hoping that it doesn't do is that they don't have to have, like, mandatory installs, which I don't think they would, because the 3DS doesn't do that. That's one thing that really pisses me off about the PlayStation 4 is that you have to, in, is that, oh, I put a disc in, it still has to install the damn thing onto the. Yeah. Yeah. And that's remembering yeah, that when I played freaking Battlefront. It's like that with the Xbox uh, One when you, when, you, when you put the uh, 360 in the console. It's the, yeah, it, it installs everything. It's yeah, like, that, that's, that's fucking retarded. That's memory hogs. <laughs> yeah. I remember I vision I remember I vision like... about that doing the uh doing that, that E three discussion. <laughs> like there's one thing like I forgot which game it was, it might have been Metal Gear or something. One of my games. Oh maybe it was Uncharted. It's like fifty gigs worth of space. Shoot, look at that GTA five so gigabyte. It's sixty. What is? GTA five is sixty gigabyte. <sighs> if, if they're gonna make something that's if they're going into like, if I'd have to um, in, insert my disc inside a console just for it to install, why do I still need to have the disc if it's already installed into my console? Exactly. Yeah, that makes no sense to me. It's like you installed the game. Why do I need the disc still? <laughs> that's that's kind of like uh, in order to play uh, Modern Warfare Remastered, you you need to put your uh, Infinite Warfare disc in the console. Wait, is... Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, y'all yeah, yeah, don't own Call of Duty if you want so y'all want to know. Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, you were talking about space. I'm assuming you're going into the uh, storage capacity of this system. Oh, I, oh, I was going to say that um, it's the memory card that's going to exist inside the uh, cartridge like, or, like old times. Um, I'm pretty sure it's going to store data on the card itself because that's what 3DS games do. They never install the, they never um, put the save data in the system. It's always on the game card. Okay. Because like I remember I when I first bought Kid Icarus Uprising, um, it was used. So I put the game in, and all of a sudden I saw some other guy's save data. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's didn't what it is. So I'm I'm going to assume that's what they're going to do here. But yeah, so I guess that memory card is still going to be a thing. 
Oh, no, memory cards are going to be a thing because, you know, this thing only has 32 gigs of internal storage. Oh, yeah, that's another thing I want to bitch about. 32 gigabyte again for the NX. Switch. Well, I mean, that, since... since, since I, said, I meant Switch, not NX Switch. Well, I mean, I since mean, the games are... a handheld that works? Yeah, since the games are on cartridges now, so that's actually pretty smart that they did that it's more of a concern was... for people who invest heavily into buying digital games oh yeah, yeah. That, that's true that's true oh and speaking of, if you download breath of the wild it's gonna it's gonna take take half of your space i well, wouldn't be important. surprised considering how big that game looks and, <laughs> yeah. and how gorgeous it looks we'll get to that later yeah But yeah, I was kind of hoping they find a way to make it a, a TB uh, file. One TB. Um, that probably would have made it cost like 400 bucks. <laughs> or at, least, yeah. at the very least, 350. Oh, hey, uh, maybe, maybe, think... maybe it could happen if they, if they re-release it like, like they did with the uh, PS4 Slim. The PS4 oh, only has 500. Wait, no, actually, no. Is that a terabyte or is that 500 gigs? I don't even remember. I know one, one has a 500 gig, another one has a TB. The TB, you might be thinking of the Pro. Yeah, Pro, sorry. PS4 Pro. Slim has 500, which honestly, I don't know. Like the default one. Works out for me, but. <laughs> and for those who don't know, TB is terabyte. Yeah, terabyte. So, um, I don't mind having to buy, like, an SD card, because I'm probably not going to be getting that many digital games unless it's not, unless it's not an option I have to buy it digitally. But, I mean, so I'm not, I, I'm not I, irritated by it, but I can understand the complaints of the people who are, because, you know. I, I've got plenty of SD cards anyway, so I, I'm set for that. I'd probably buy, like, a, uh... I don't know, like a 256 or like a 500 if I can find one, but I mean, I've got... I don't, I don't buy di I don't buy a lot of digital games unless I'm forced to. Yeah, I I have got a 64 gig, so I think so... I could be all right on that. Like I said, I, I it's, it doesn't bother me too much, but I can understand the complaints of the people Ow. who are bothered by it because you know, 32 is not a lot of space. I know, right? But otherwise, I'm not like it doesn't bug me because I, I invest more into physical games than digital. Um, though also yeah. this thing launches on the third of March. Yep, March 3rd. Not too long from here. Just a few weeks ahead. Well, we still have next month, so yeah. about a month and a half. Yeah. Basically. And I'm not getting a launch day. I'll say, I'm gonna say that right now. Um, I'm probably, I'm, I'm, I've got, actually, I do have a pre-order down. Yeah, really? I, yeah, I went to the GameStop a few days ago, and... A lot, a lot of people are pre-ordering the game, uh, pre-ordering the the console. I got mine by luck. <laughs> wow. Because oh, literally, it was the day after the event, and um, I just barely was able to put um fifty dollars down on it. Even then, I had to uh, uh, I had to, um. My brother actually helped me with this one until I can pay him back in a couple weeks. So he's just kind of biting the 50 bucks for right now. But he, he's helping me out with that, so... Yeah, I might get like, 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 like at the end of the holidays. Well, it's probably going to be more worth it at that point because there's going to be a lot more games, but we'll get into that yeah, in no. a second. We'll get into that in a second. Yeah. Um, does anyone else have anything else to say about the system? I mean, what do you guys battery think of the life. joint? The what? The what battery do you guys life. Think of the, the what? The Joy-Cons, the controllers. Oh. Oh, the Joy-Cons. It looks pretty fun to use. Yeah, just that every time you were saying that, you kind of like, 
your volume like... dipped down and then. But uh, yeah, the controller looks uh, pretty nice. I don't like how the. I don't like that the D pad's the buttons, but. Yeah, that confused me. <laughs> oh yeah, I was just about to get into that. You know, you know, the, you know that that little small ass teeny freaking plus looking D pad looking thing on the on the fucking joy pad. Where that button. thing is. <laughs> yeah, that's actually the start button. Wait, you talking about the one on the on the uh, white Joy-Con? Yeah, upper, upper right. That's the start button. And it's really, really tiny. Also kind of awkward, because it's like up in the corner. <laughs> yeah. I, really thought that was I kind of hate how that Joy-Con specifically has the... Um, Analog has a has the analog stick right in the middle. So if you're if you're trying to play two player, someone's having to like reach their thumb over even more just to use it. <laughs> I mean, I get why they did that. So because you know, when you're just regular, when you're just playing normally, and actually when the when the Joy Cons are docked onto that um onto that um controller. Um, anyone else kind of seeing, like, a Xbox-looking controller, somewhat? Uh, oh, yeah, it, it has a separate controller that's, uh, that it'll... Oh, yeah, they have a Pro Controller, also. Yeah, it, yeah. it looks it's like not, it's, it's actually modeled controller. after the 360 controller. Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Uh, the no, I was glad to see that they have some uh, shoulder buttons inside the uh, Joy-Cons, because I was like, okay, if you're playing Mario Kart, how the hell are you going to drift? There's little buttons off to the... Um... No, There's I know, that... they're inside where they connect to the to the, uh, hand, to the um, console. Yeah. yeah. No, but, no, because um, when they did that uh, event, that uh, reveal uh, back in October... I was like, where yeah. is, how is someone going to drift in Mario Kart with those with that <laughs> thing? Also, they had that um, my, panning my shot that. where they showed us the inside of it, and then there's two shoulder buttons. Exactly. And I was like, oh, okay. Oh, yeah. So I was, I was glad to see that. So it looks less oh, awkward. Oh, nothing we forgot to bring up. Oh, yeah, it's also going to be HD Market the PS4 and Xbox One. Well, yeah, it, it, it's a it, it's a console handheld hybrid. Yeah. Yeah, the the resolution is capped at 900 if it's docked and 720 when you when it's in handheld mode. Okay, I keep hearing two different reports on that. Is it 900 docked or is it 1080p docked? I I heard it was 900 docked. I, I heard it was 1080p. Some people say 900. Some are, well, no, Zelda's running at 900. I'm not sure. Oh, okay. Are, yeah, that, that could be... I'm not sure about that... the system itself. I just keep hearing conflicting reports. That's what's kind of irritating. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I was watching a video where they were showing... Um, where they were showing Breath of the, Breath of the Wild gameplay. And uh, they, they just kept saying... Well, they did say at the beginning that the uh when the switch is docked it's it's a uh, it's native resolution it's at 900p and then when you play it in handheld it's at 720 also there's some stuttering into in the game also really now yeah but i i don't know if it's stuttering due to um the game being so big or if it's when you are playing it in handheld and it can't really take the resol like the uh the game's graphical uh style so well we also don't know what build that is but i i have to assume yeah, that's it's true. at least close to the final build but i don't actually know <laughs> but yeah undock this thing's going to run at 720p which for a handheld is pretty good yeah, it's yeah. Actually, actually amazing. Even though I keep hearing people bitch about how, like, their phones were able to do 1080p standard. But, you know, that's a phone. That's not a that's not a gaming system either. Yeah, 
but yeah, that that's a thing. Yeah, it is. So now, okay, so let's now, talk about some games. <laughs> yeah, now the first game they showed off was uh, you you guys heard of Punch Out Wii, right? No, the first thing they showed off was One Two Switch. With arms, huh? One Two Switch. Oh shoot, shoot, shoot! Yeah, one two switch. You know the first thing I thought of when I saw that trailer initially. Was Red Dead Redemption. No. Red Dead Redemption. Damn it! I was thinking it's a noon. <laughs> Lol. I was well, thinking Red Dead Redemption. Come on, two cowboys with guns. Come on. <laughs> you, 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 know, you remember that that that, that uh, the, the the freaking duel, the duel, and freaking uh, Red Dead Redemption. Yes, and they sucked. <laughs> no, they did. <laughs> I fucking hate those things. <laughs> I mean, it's all right, but not as bad. Um, okay, like I think it's a har it, it would be harmless collection of mini games, but the thing that irritates me is that this thing's retailing for about fifty bucks, and it's not a pack-in title. The game? Yeah, one two switch is not is not a pack-in title. It's fifty dollars retail. Well, damn. That's weird, because usually yeah. Nintendo, usually Nintendo always has a, a bundle like where they pack in a game. Yeah, well, but this I, is not a pack in; it's just there. Wow, I mean, because that's which basically means they... no one's gonna fucking buy it. Because <laughs> <laughs> who's who's gonna pay fifty bucks for mini games? Not me. I mean, people paid like close to sixty when NES Remix came out, and those yeah. are. Wait, actually, no, those weren't. I would say those were around forty dollars because they had like NES Remix One and Two on the Wii U, and then like the separate ones were like twenty on the 3DS. Yeah, but at least there's shit to do in that. This is just it's mini games, and the funny thing is, you're not even looking at the screen while you're playing it. You're looking directly at the person you're playing with. How? Then, what's the idea of the game if you can't look at the screen? I don't know. At that point, it's not a video game. It's just a thing. Basically, I'm not too impressed with with it. I'm not gonna buy it. It's not it, it, from what I saw, it's not worth fifty bucks. Maybe yeah. like tw like twenty at best. Yeah. Okay. Now we can talk about arms. Yeah. One question: Why arms? What's with that title, arms? Couldn't because Dals. Because Dawson, That's why. <laughs> They could have come up with a better name, Arms. What if there's a sequel to Arms? Are they going to call it Feet? So what would you no, call it, Celtics? Someone made that joke, and I don't even remember who. I want, I want to say it was Brain Scratch, and you took it. <laughs> no, they're going, to call it, they're going to call it Arms 2. <laughs> or Feet. And Michael Andrew is a DLC character, and you hear him say, Eat Feet, Eat Feet, Eat Feet. That'd get annoying real quick. <laughs> but yeah. Alright, gameplay wise. The game looks um, freaking looks amazing. Like it could be it looks fun. One, fun. Thing I did, one thing I did like is that apparently you can actually turn off the uh, motion controls, but they didn't they didn't say that in the event. <laughs> they really forgot. So I think that might help the game because you don't actually have to play with the motion controls. You can just play with a with a controller. So I think that'll definitely help Arms' case. Um, I'm just hoping it has like some more deep uh, fighting mechanics than what we actually saw. Yeah. Because I was like, they're just they're just throwing punches. That's all they were doing. <laughs> so. I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see. I, I still I, I started to see more of ARMS. But all I can say, it looks pretty fun. And it's it, Spray it, Man. It does, look, it does look okay. Let's talk about Spray Man at first. Come on, Spray Man is taken. Mega Man 7 did it first. Well, you see, Nintendo just innocently pretends Capcom doesn't ex didn't exist at the time. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Ari, you, you don't love this one. 
our next topic. Splatoon? Yeah. I'm very much excited for this one. Yeah, me too. I really want to try out those splat dualies. Those look fun. One thing I want, uh, one thing I want to say, I want to say this right now. I, I hope that campaign mode is a little longer than the first game. I hope there's actually some story this time, because, I mean, like this story in Splatoon One, but not a lot. So I'm hoping that it's kind of, um, it's more substantial this time. Yeah, it was a little confusing the story in the first game. I mean, we had that we had that little moment in the trailer where they. They showed Callie. No, 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 Mary, Mary. Sorry. Yeah. Marie. Um, and she, Marie, and she's just kind of standing there. So I'm, I'm, I wonder what that. I wonder what the deal is with that story. I don't know. Everyone's saying that she was wearing like Japanese funeral clothes or something. <laughs> Maybe Callie died. I doubt it, but. I wonder is DJ Ocker going to come back? Because, like, everyone fucking loves the Squid Sisters, so it's like, it's kind of, it'd be kind of stupid to kill one of them off. Uh, Callie's my favorite one. <laughs> it's also because I like that name, Callie, so. I actually like them both, to be honest. But you think DJ Octo's going to come back? Eh, it's possible. He could be like, I'm going to remember. Although, one thing I'm kind of hoping for, well. <sighs> I'm kind of hoping that we do get playable Octolings this time, please. Yeah, they, they said we was going to get playable Octos in the first game, but we never did. They never said we were going to get them in that game. Everyone was just hoping that there was, and if you um, if you fuck around in the in the game's code a little bit, yeah. you can actually make Octolings playable, but not officially. Okay. So I'm kind of hoping they fix that with this one, because that'd be really cool. So, Otherwise, it, it looks like a really fun game. Uh, I was going to say, any thoughts on Splatoon 2 so far? Or y'all want to see more of it? We'll probably see more at some point, and um, it, we might see more at E3. It just kind of depends on the launch, because it only said summer 2017. Yeah. So. Who knows? We might see some yeah, more. I'm a little excited for this. What about you, BSL? You hype for it as well? Possibly. Ligaya? Uh, I like. Yeah, I'm excited for it. I love the first game, so. All right, and next one. Oh, this is gonna be the big one. If you thought uh, Breath of the Wild wasn't big enough. Super Mario, Mario Odyssey. Odyssey. Yes. Fucking awesome. I'm fucking hyped as fuck. I cannot wait to get my hands on it. Hands down. Yeah, it looks Mario really good. It. Yes, it does. Mario, Mario Odyssey, Mario Odyssey. Mario Odyssey. Mario Odyssey. There I get the you freaking should... Sonic Adventure Station Square. Yeah, or yeah, Grand Theft Auto thought, 5. Everyone thought they were remaking SA1 when they saw that. <laughs> How? When there's a Mario character in it. No, because the first shot we see is very similar to uh, what we saw oh, yeah, in the, yeah. op the opening FMV for SA1. <laughs> how about, new, how about, how about uh, new Dark City? Y'all know anyone notice that? New York City, city the Dixie Bain. Street. Yeah, new Dark. That's that's the name of the city he's at. Meaning that Donkey Kong may have something to do with this. New Donk? Yes. The memes, think of the memes. <laughs> is Donkey Kong gonna is Donkey Kong gonna have something to do with it? Is, is he gonna be like a a, a boss of that of that hub? Donkey world? Kong became the tyrannical world? overlord of New York <laughs> City, obviously. It, either that or there's gonna be a bunch of women with huge butts in that city. <laughs> <laughs> really? <laughs> Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, I mean, if you if you're familiar with the country song, uh, what is it? Uh, honky tonk, badunk a dunk. No, so, I don't know the song. I've uh, never even heard of that. <laughs> oh, hey, what's what? What's what's with this hat having eyes now? We don't it, know. They didn't actually establish that. It, well, I'll say one thing. Did you, did you guys look at Bowser? You saw Bowser? 
Look like a fucking pimp. Everyone fucking says that. <laughs> Cause he does look like a pimp. Look, look at this fucking car in 3D world. He's a he had a pimp mobile. And now he got now he got like a like a two like a two million dollar suit on him in the big ass freaking chum Look at shop. <laughs> and it looks like he's trying to marry Pete. Hey look, they stole a plot detail from intelligence systems. <laughs> Super <Paper> Mario. <laughs> That's like the third time he's trying to marry her. If you wanna count the uh, the Super Show. The Super Show's not canon. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Wait, did you see? Did, did y'all see how he dived in the water in that one part? Okay, you know that forested area reminded me a lot of Uncharted. For some reason, it reminded me of something. Oh my! I can't even think of what it reminded me of. That forest. It's like that looked like it came right out of an Uncharted game. <laughs> So recent, it had that little Zelda vibe to it. I would say somewhere in the Forbidden Woods, but the um, upgraded version of the Forbidden Woods. That's the um, way I. Was... Wait, are we talking? Are you referring to Wind Waker or yeah. Twilight Princess? Uh, Wind Waker. I don't see that so much, but I can kind of see a Zelda forest area. Yeah. I kind of like that there's like light beams coming through the trees though. That was uh, that was a nice little detail. Oh, and, and uh, another thing I know is I know so apparently the Bowser he must have fired his Cooper kids and he hired the new ones. I don't even know who the fuck they are. Uh, Bowser just found some random schmoes and just hired them. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so I I want to learn more about those about those rugrats. <laughs> he hired the rugrats. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> oh God! So Tiny Pickle is gonna be the boss of World One. <laughs> My God. <laughs> but yes, it does look cool, and I I like that one point you can actually use your hat as a platform. Yeah. That, yeah. I'll let my ass off. I'm like, look at this shit. You, you, you got sure. I was like fangirling. I'm not even lying. I was really fangirling doing when I was watching that trailer. Oh uh, no, there's a part. There, there was a, there was two points where I was fanboying, but not. It wasn't during Mario, even though I really loved the trailer. But there's two uh, things we'll later get, that. Oh, uh, we'll get to that later. We're gonna be getting to that right after this next game. Oh shit! Oh, that I can't say much about. Uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. <clears throat> Which I will say looks fucking gorgeous. It looks alright. Uh, I would say, of course I'm going to say it looks alright because I never played the first one. <laughs> um, the first one, it's it's graphically impressive for the Wii, but there's, the faces kind of look, the, the faces are kind of low res. <laughs> but then again, they're, with that game, they were pushing the Wii to the absolute limits because of just how fucking huge the game was. Obviously, Xenoblade X looked a lot better, and then... Once I saw Monolith Soft, I was like, Oh, shit. Big-ass game incoming. <laughs> but I wasn't expecting Xenoblade 2 so soon after X. Because X only came out in 2015. So, yeah, it did. Everyone had to see, that, like... a, to see this one so soon. I, I mean, I don't know. Unless they had, so unless they you know had some division working on Xenoblade Two at the same time or something. I don't actually know, but then again, they could have just modified some assets from Xenoblade X. I I don't know. Hey, I did go to screensaver. <laughs> okay, what? My computer almost went to screensaver. Oh. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, Xenoblade 2 looks like it could be good, and it's an actual sequel to the first Xenoblade. It's like, hey, the Monado's back! <laughs> so, any thoughts on uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2? Because I got nothing. 
It was a game that not a lot of people played at the time, at when it first came out. Oh, I never ran with the Wi-Fi, uh... What? I never asked you or the guard, uh... I never asked BS or oh, yeah. the guard what, what they think of think about Mario Odyssey? Uh, Odyssey. Yeah. I kind of forgot to ask their thoughts before we moved on. <laughs> That's alright. Um, guys? Yes. Mario Odyssey thoughts. Awesome. Let's move on. Yeah. Any thoughts on Zero Play Chronicles 2? Can't say too much about it because I honestly have not played the first one either, so. Yeah, same here. Neither have I, so. Damn, am I oh, the and... only played Xenoblade 2? Or Xenoblade? Well, I started it, but like I've got so many other games I've been playing, so my issue with Xenoblade games is they're fucking long, <laughs> so long. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah I, I heard that uh, is a long game. Yeah, so I have I heard a lot of people bitch about how long it was. I'm like, are you kidding me? It's like I forgot who said it, but it's like you know, 48 hours in, they're still not even halfway through the game. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, I know games longer than this shit. <laughs> it's like, God, but, I mean, they're good games, just they're fucking long as hell. I know. Or planned out? Eh, just long. Okay. <laughs> if it's planned out, then I'm cool. Nope, 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 nope. Although Square did confirm they have a lot of Dragon Quest crap coming over to the Switch. Yeah. Dragon Quest uh, 10 and 11, I think? And then Dragon yeah. Quest Heroes 1 and 2 are coming as well. That's weird, but I can't wait. <laughs> yeah. Alright, so next game. Oh, ne the next one was really unexpected, which I did oh, not see coming. I was make. So fucking excited when I saw this, but it's like... Was I this the one you were fangirling on, Ari? I was like... No, because like I saw, um, I saw Koei Tecmo, right? Yeah. Oh, okay. We got a Warriors game. Maybe they're, you uh -huh. know, maybe they're confirming Dynasty Warriors Nine here, even though the game's already been confirmed being developed. Or Hyrule Warriors Two, but no. Or and all of a sudden, wait. I saw the orbs. I saw the orbs flying, and then I saw the uh, swords, and I'm like, oh shit, Fire Emblem. <laughs> For some reason, I thought that was a store from fucking uh, Xenoblade, for some reason. No. <laughs> How can you mistake the Faustian for the Because I don't play Fountain as much, that's why. Yeah, but Ew. the Banana is like a futuristic weapon, while Ew, a Faustian is... <laughs> well, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry I, could, I couldn't get into Fire Emblem, but I, I just might this time after what I saw in the trailer. Yeah, it's called then, uh, Fire Emblem Warriors. From pulling the Falchion out of the ground, I'm like, fuck, I want more, but I'm, I'm gonna buy it because it's fucking Fire Emblem Warriors. Yeah. The, the thing is, though, what characters are gonna are they gonna put in there that aren't that aren't sword users? Okay, that's my only there are a lot of right sword users. That is literally my only warrior right now because they only showed off characters from Awakening and um. Fates, with the exception of Mars Falchion, which also means Shadow Dragon. Oh, um, God. Uh, which, I'm by the way, Shadow Dragon's the worst one. Fuck that game. <laughs> but yeah, even though I'm not really a Fire Emblem fan, I'm definitely going to give it a try. Because, all because I love Hyrule Warriors. I, I just hope that they can put Ephraim because he's among... The uh, spear he's users, one of the only lord. spear wielding lords in the series, <laughs> and I want them to put Hector and Lin. It's a must. I'll take either or. Um, well, actually, no, fuck it. Put both of them in there. Just <laughs> fuck Hollywood. Don't, don't, the only curse I can think of is Ike and Mia. Mia? Uh, Ike is- I think Ike's gonna get in the game. Mia? I'm not sure. It just depends on whether or not they pull support characters, which they're going to, because there's there's, only, there's not that many lords in the series. That's- yeah, yeah. 
Or at least probably well, not ones that they'd be willing to put in. <laughs> well, the thing is, like, in Fire Emblem, there are a lot of sword users that are lords, so, like, you kind of have to... Well, that's why I want Hector, because he wields an axe. <laughs> and that's why I want Ephraim, because he wields a spear. But they're going to have to pull... Have to have to pull um, <laughs> they are going to have to pull in some other ally units, not just the lords. So, it's just a matter of which ones are they going to use. I still want to. I still want to look at some gameplay. I don't know if they showed it doing the Nintendo Treehouse because I didn't watch that. Well, I just think, I, I don't think. Either, but I think they they might show some off in the Fire Emblem Direct. Oh, that's tomorrow. That's right. That's his recording session. Yeah, that's uh, tomorrow. We're probably gonna do an impressions on that too, but. <laughs> yeah. Uh, let's see. Like, but for characters. I know they're going to put Lucina, Krom, uh, Mark. Krom and Lucina are a definite, I think, and so is Corrin. Um, speaking of, I hope if they put... Well, because Corrin's obviously going to be in the game because the Yato was there. Um, I'm hoping if when they put Corrin and, and hopefully Robin in the game... Okay. I hope they give you the option to switch the characters um, around because there's... There's a male and female version of both, so I'm hoping they give you the option to use either or. Okay, yeah, that would make sense. That would make sense. Oh, y'all talk about Mars. No, there's a uh, Marth is no. his own character. Oh, when I, when I heard of and, and, and then the and, and then the female Marth is actually a different character. Well, I was thinking Lucina. Cause I mean, just want me that, playing Smash Bros. so much. That is the female Marth. Lucina okay. is the female Marth in Fire Emblem uh, Awakening. Actually, it's kind of hilarious in Awakening. They are rigged to the exact same model. Just one has shorter hair. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm hoping that they give. If, I'm hoping they give us the option to switch the gender around for Corn and Robin if Robin's even in the game. But, oh yeah, Rob. That's right, Corn Rob. That's right from Smash Brothers. I never knew where they were from <laughs> till now. See, like I said, I don't play too many Fire Emblem games. But they have the same icon on the character select. The same. And I'm not familiar with the icon either. God damn it! No, but they have the same sword icon behind them. Oh, didn't know that either. <laughs> Did you not watch that Smash Direct where they had that? They had uh, Corrin making the choice. Uh, yeah, I watched this master rep, but it was like that was like 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 a year or two. That was last year. Yeah, it, it was like year. it was twenty. It was like. I don't actually remember. Do you choose to fight with Nor? Do you choose to fight with uh? What's the other one called? Um. Hoshido. Hoshido, do you choose to not choose either paths, or do you like, want to go to an alternate <laughs> universe? <laughs> you go to... <laughs> I saw that, and I was like, yo, we're getting a new character, a new Fire Emblem character. And, right. and actually, that character came out, like, I think a week before the, like, a week before the uh, uh, Fire Emblem Fates came out. I forgot when Fates actually released. I thought it was March. Or was it February? It was February. Well, things. <laughs> <laughs> Regardless, I'm excited for Fire Emblem Warriors, and it makes sense to do that. I was kind of hoping for a Kid Icarus Warriors kind of game, but I'm, I'm happy with this. There's not enough characters in Kid Icarus to have That's a game true, like that. That's true, but Kid Icarus is never going to get another game. <laughs> so, what's your thoughts on the BSL? <laughs> okay, I, I guess he got nothing. And my thoughts on it, I'd like to see some gameplay. We're probably going to at the direct tomorrow if I had to guess. That and hope that I think they might show off that Fire Emblem mobile game. Yeah. What? They're making a mobile Fire Emblem, but we don't know what it is yet. <laughs> Oh, I bet they're gonna troll you with that preview tomorrow during the wreck. 
<laughs> I just want to see some gameplay of this thing. Okay, but so before we get to the big one, do we want to discuss some of these other things? I'm looking at this uh, picture. It has uh, some games that are going to be in the launch window, some games that are coming out in spring, summer, holiday, and then they have some that are just like 2017. Um, so Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is coming out in April. I just oh, uh, recently found out, and uh, apparently they're not going to add new stages in that version. They and did they give just... us a proper battle mode, though. That's the only one. That's the only time you see new stages in battle mode. And I noticed that uh, that you're not carrying three balloons; you're carrying five. Yeah, and they also gave you the ability to carry two items. Yep. Yeah. Oh yeah. We, oh, we've been new since the uh, since the rebuild trailer. Also, the Inklings are in the game. They brought back the Boo in for the freaking Mario Kart. The ghost. Yeah. Oh yeah, the Boo's back. King Boo, right? Can we get rid of some of those other characters and just give... Because seriously, I hate that there's so many Koopalings because they all have the exact same stats. And all even, the fucking recallers. Even Brain Scratch don't like the Koopalings. <laughs> Also, Metal Mario and Pink Gold Peach are fucking useless. Get rid of them. And please get rid of freaking baby Marios. Get rid of all the babies. I don't need them. <laughs> that fucking irks me that shit. Baby Mario, baby Luigi, baby Daisy, baby Peach. Get the fuck out of here. Oh, don't forget baby Rosalina. Yeah, that too. Rosalina, that bitch, 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 bitch. So what about baby Bowser? Don't forget about him. Oh, he don't count. Bowser he Jr. just lay. Or Bowser Jr., my bad. Yeah, but at least that one makes sense. He's a different character. Yeah. This, I don't want any baby characters in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. For the love of God. They're probably going to still be there. Also, I fucking hate Raccoon, Mario, and Cat Peach. Those are also useless. I know. <laughs> because they're just Pink there. Gold Peach. I already talked about Pink Gold Peach. Fuck that. Yeah. It's so she, pointless. She don't mean shit. Oh my god. Um, this guy is yeah, so, coming to the Switch. I I was surprised about that game being on the Switch. Wait, what game? Do, kind of, but then they're also doing a Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Oh yeah, they're they're getting a lot of third party uh, developers on the Switch, which the which they failed to do that when it, when the Wii U is still around. So yeah, I mean that's good because we're, and also we're getting Skylanders and Just Dance, which granted we don't care about those, but they're still important because Just of the Dan. third party support. Oh god, every time I hear Just Dance, makes me think of that that stupid singer, uh, Jason Derulo. I can't stand that guy. <laughs> Um, Sonic <laughs> Mania is... Oh, oh hell yeah, I put it. Um, we're oh. getting Ultra Street Fighter 2, which... I, I know, I am so happy. <laughs> and we're getting a new Shin Megami Tensei title. On oh, yeah, that... I saw a green penis demon. Wait, what? <laughs> a <Orochi>? <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, no, because I heard legit... about it, I'm like, okay, this can't be real. I, I don't know why. I was never bothered to look it up. And also, I saw it in the trailer. I'm like, oh, they have, there's a green dick in there. Yep. It's... That's what I thought you were say. Green penis. What the fuck? Yeah, yeah there's, a, there's, yeah, there's legit a, a, there's a legit a green, there's a legit a demon that's a green penis. In what game? Shin Megami Tensei. And, and, and the name of that demon is Orochi. Really? I heard it was called Mara. Or Mara. I don't know. Which also is, by the way, it's slang for penis in, in Japan. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck? There, there's an so angel cool. that shows, like, a pair of tits. But it's like... Me. It won't surprise me. Yeah. But, I mean, I, I like Shin Megami Tensei a lot, so... I know, because you were freaking out about Apocalypse last year. <laughs> well, yeah. can't say much about it. Two months ago, but... 
I mean, it's the adult, and like, people compare it to Pokemon. So, it's the adult version of Pokemon, so. Huh. And it's, I, and I, when I say adult, it's very adult. Nice. <laughs> I also don't care about these two. We're getting FIFA and NBA 2K on the Switch, which, again... FIFA. Oh, God, FIFA. <laughs> we don't care, but it's still good that they're on there. Yeah. Yeah. FIFA, that's, that's the one that no one wants to show up doing that, doing that conference. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was funny. Because, um, I... Like... Okay, who doesn't think, like, you know, like, the First Order from fucking Force Awakens when they see that? The Force <laughs> Awakens? The Order? The First Order, the New, the first order, the new order, whatever the fuck it's called. Oh, he's, oh, he's talking about Kylo Ren. That's right. <laughs> you just imagine them having that the, the logo behind them. Also, that part of the conference was boring as shit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that EA conference. Ugh. Just I sat there and I'm just like, can you just go away, please? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Then they brought Pele out, and then they weren't saying nothing about the game. He was just up there talking about how great soccer was. We're talking about the Switch event, mate. Yeah, Pele was. All right. <laughs> Oh yeah, a game that I want to show up on the Switch, Bloodstained, Ritual of the Night. Oh I yeah. Sure it will. You know, I actually got hyped for it when I watched the MSLP versus play it. I'm like, oh my god, I gotta try this game out. Though, um, also, uh, I Am Setsuna is getting on the Switch. Ah, uh, I want to try that game. It's on Steam also, it kind of looks like Chrono Trigger. I don't have a good computer to run that game. Yeah, I think well, then maybe the I, Switch will be a good way for you to play it. Yeah, I think Mac got the Bloodstain Ritual because he's a back on Kickstarter. Is it not on PlayStation Four? I don't know. I can look real quick. I think. It I mean, is. I, I, I've got my PlayStation on right now. I can look. I can look for it. But wow, speaking of yeah, PlayStation, I'm already here. So. Speaking of PSN, well, going oh, off yeah, topic. Oh yeah, the PS4, mate. Oh yeah, speaking of PS4 and PSN store, off topic, the freaking uh, Power Rangers uh, Mega Battle is out today. I I just saw that. Yeah, I I, I got it and uh, only, I I beat the first uh, chapter. Hmm. All right, so uh, moving yeah, on. It's on the PS4, so have at it. <laughs> Oh, yes, yeah, so, uh, they, they had a little money. montage at one point uh, that the, um, not Sonic Mania, but the uh, next Sonic game, the 3D one, that's also coming to the Switch. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, uh, Sonic uh, Generations 2. The Project <laughs> Sonic 2017. It's more it's likely going to be called Sonic Generations 2. And guess who's back? Classic Sonic. Uh... Uh, I, remember, I remember if you watched our, our Donkey Kong season four playthrough. Uh, I remember when uh, Ari was vision about Classic Sonic coming back. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. I don't have a problem with it. I just want more characters because I. Oh yeah, that's what you're that's what playing about. Now I remember. I don't like just playing as Sonic. Like I like playing as Tails. <laughs> yeah. Like, wait, Give me that option. <laughs> like you can say fuck everyone else. Just give me playable Tails. Because Sonic's the name speeds the game. <laughs> yeah, but Sonic's also like the worst out of like all three of them, if we're if we're counting Knuckles in there as well. Yeah. They move just as fast as Sonic, but they can technically do more shit. <laughs> exactly. But yeah, we yeah we want more characters in, in Project Sonic 2017. Oh boy, because I mean, it looks like Tails and Knuckles are playable in Mania. From what I had seen at one point. Yeah. I wonder if Knuckles gonna be in Mania. He might be. Oh yeah, he might he might get fooled by Dr. Eggman and take the Chaos Emeralds. Sign for in a nutshell. Oh, I forgot about this one. Uh hey, Konami's doing shit again. 
on our phone, oh. right? Super on Bomberman a... R. Oh, oh yeah, oh, that's good. That's like, that's like the first Bomberman game to ever come out in a long time. It it looks fun. I, I'm excited for this one. I thought there wasn't gonna make any more games on the console. No. Last time I heard. I don't know. Like they were pulling out a triple A game development last I heard, but then we got Metal Gear Survive. Yeah. <laughs> The day when they, I thought the time at the time when they when they got rid of uh, Kojima. I completely forgot about Metal Gear Survive. If and, and, and they, nobody and they, cares. If they abandoned uh, Silent Hill. So yeah. Yeah, Bomberman R looks fun, so I'm probably gonna get that at some point. Yeah, same here. I remember, I'm, I posted a comment on the, on the Facebook page, and I was like, my wallet's gonna be broken. Or waste it. <laughs> I'll probably find some way for me to hack it and get it for free because after after what Konami's done, I'm not gonna put anything into supporting Konami. <laughs> well, technically I do because I do play Dance Dance Revolution, but that's like them publishing that and then bringing it over here. Like they didn't actually make it. It's like a different company made it, so they just had the publishing rights for it. Hmm. Uh, well, I suppose no more further beating around the bush. There was Breath of the Wild at this yeah. press conference as well. Yeah, we talked we talked about this so many times in the past, but we're, we're gonna talk more of it again. So, what do y'all think? Well, it drops the same day as the Switch, so that's yes, good. Mm -hmm. indeed. Oh, and, and, and we already know it has voice acting. But when I watched the trailer, it was, I was in Japanese. To, I was surprised to hear that because they don't. It, it's Zelda; it never has voice acting. Yeah, it, it was this person speaking in Japanese. I don't know. There's an English dub also. Yeah. Also, there's gonna be a new Smash Bros. game coming out for this Switch. Now he's so trolling. Both, we haven't actually heard anything about that. Yeah, he's only joking, so we ain't heard anything about that. Oh, yeah, you can tell the tone of my voice. They're, they're supposed to, like, remake, uh, what is it, Melee? Or, like, yeah. make an HD remake? Or an HD remaster, from what I heard? Oh, I don't know how I feel about that. At well, that yeah. point, I'd rather have just a new game. But yeah, I, yeah, I, I had some of my friends on Facebook. He was a little disappointed that they announced a new Smash game. I'm like, maybe they will in the future. We already got so much stuff on our plates. <laughs> well, considering what's already going to be available, everyone's wallets are going to die. Yeah. Now, I just hope that... Tekken 7 would be on the Switch, then I'm instantly sold. Hopefully I get the Switch like, right around Christmas, because that's when all the good shit will be out by then. Because I really don't want to get a console just to get one game, and that's it. I'm getting it because, you know, there's going to be Zelda, and yeah. the Mario, Mario Kart, I'm going to get that, and then Splatoon 2 in the summer, so... Yeah, I'll be like satisfied said, for a bit. But yeah, for three hundred dollars, it's it's a good deal. Yeah, it may come in tax, but uh, it's still a good deal. <laughs> All right, so so what y'all think about the Switch event? It was uh, it, a nice one. It wasn't. It wasn't bad. Yeah, I was hyped. I was hyped as fuck. Yeah, it, it, was did, awesome. it did answer some questions that I had. So I haven't seen it because I was only concerned about other games like Shin Megami Tensei and Ultra Street Fighter Two: The Final Challengers. <laughs> So, 
But other than that, I can't wait. Yeah, I'm excited for uh, for uh, Arms, Splatoon 2, Super Mario Odyssey, and if I am the Warriors, definitely gonna give that a shot. And Blue Sky Room. I don't give a shit about Sky Room. Or oh, Travis. Yeah, that's coming there too. Which and Travis. Is the special edition, also. Yeah. And not the definitive edition. Well, the, the special edition meaning the definitive edition. Ah, uh, okay. And what's this up. Travis debut shit in Project? Oh, Aquapan. no more Ghost Three. I forgot about that. What? Project Octopath Traveler. Or Travis debut. Was no. that? I forgot Octopath Traveler even existed. I was talking about with Trav with Travis Touchdown. There's gonna be another. Oh no, no more heroes! No more heroes. Y oh yes. I was happy yes. to hear that because I fucking love those games. Okay, well, I said something about not supporting Konami, but I have to now because uh, No More Heroes three. Wait no. Who owns the rights to No More Heroes right now? It's not Konami, I don't think. I have no idea. It, it was Ubisoft for 1 and 2, and then they remade 1 for the PS3, and that was published by Konami, I think? Well, th that was published. That doesn't mean owned. Oh, then probably Ubisoft. <laughs> um, Publishers... Grasshopper Manufacturer is the developer. Yeah, I don't think No More Heroes is actually owned by anyone, just they had to go through different publishers. Ah. But, yeah, I don't think, uh... It message from Nintendo of America, yeah, we're not gonna talk about that. This is, there's a singer... There's a sending a, a message. It's... Oh, by the way, the end of the event was stupid because they had uh, uh, Reggie, uh, Miyamoto, and Al Numa just kind of going back and forth for a second before it went back to the Nintendo president. Oh, yeah. Was it, was it when, when they, they, they kind of like showed us saying that we're going we're gonna to end the event but it still keeps on going? Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're going to end the event. Oh, here's Reggie. Up oh, here's Mimoto, up oh, here's Al Numa, up oh, here's the Nintendo president again. <laughs> oh yeah, and uh, and Reggie and uh me they, they they was asking the audience about the release date for Breath of the Wild, now I remember. Yeah, that was annoying because they kept passing it over to somebody else. Yeah, I, I think that was just a troll move. Cause I literally thought the motherfucker was, was gonna be like, Oh, no release date announced yet. When it's obvious that it's it's a launch game, so yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I'm like, I mean, are y'all gonna end the event or what? <laughs> well, they did eventually. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just felt like that was a troll moment. <laughs> but otherwise, I thought it was a solid event. It was. I really, I mainly enjoy it because of those those. Those games I'm hyped for: Arms, Splatoon 2, Super Mario Odyssey, Fire Emblem Warriors. So, what games you looking for, Ari? Um, for the moment, um, I'm looking forward to Breath of the Wild. Definitely Breath of the Wild. Yeah, Breath of the Wild too. Um, okay. Even though Konami is a shit company, I am looking forward to Bomberman. Yeah, I'm looking for that. I'm looking for that too. God damn it, so many games. I can't even name them all. Ain't that a um, bit? Mario Kart, despite the fact that I already own it. Um, yeah, yeah, same here. Splatoon, yeah. Mario, um, and the Sonic games, and then Fire Emblem Warriors. So, how about you, BSO? Odyssey, Splatoon two. And Possible it. no more heroes. <laughs> oh yeah, that too. Whenever we actually <laughs> see something about it. Uh, hey, for you... me, okay. for me, uh, the new Shin Megami Tensei title, of course. Fire Emblem Heroes. Wait, 
Fire Emblem Warriors. Heroes. Fire Emblem Warriors, my bad. I'm tired, so <laughs> Fire Emblem Warriors, uh Ultra Street Fighter 2, the Final Challengers, Xenoblade Chronicles 2, uh Normal Heroes 3. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, even though I actually have that game. And just whatever they throw at us, because I would like to see some more third-party stuff. Oh, don't forget about Sonic Switch. Mania and uh, Project Sonic 17. I don't really care for those games. Yeah. No, it's a nice addition, but... I'm not missing all the games I was hyped for, because there's a lot of games I want. <laughs> just more RPGs, please, Nintendo. Bring out more RPGs, and then everything would be okie dokie, peachy keen for me. And I'll say this again: please, no more, no more baby carries in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, or Metal Peach, or Gold Peach, or Metal Luigi, or whatever the fuck. Even before baby Metal Dry Bones. <laughs> oh yeah, I think they, oh wait, 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 I think it did. I think did we mention Dry Bones in Mario Kart 8 Deluxe? Yeah, he's gonna be a new character. Yeah, he's he, yeah, he's only with your new character. Don't don't give a shit about Dry Bones beyond this. We're gonna have Dry Bowser. I forgot Dry Bowser even existed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never used him. <laughs> so underrated anyway. We don't see him like we we only saw him like in freaking uh, new Super Mario Brothers. That's about that's the only it. time we saw him outside of spinoffs. <laughs> yeah. Yep, as I said, underrated. <laughs> and underused. <laughs> yeah, that too. So do you want do you want do you want the Nintendo Switch to have any re releases or remasters like the PS4? It was a remaster that means anything. <laughs> yeah. Because I don't I'm mind. I'm sorry, with The Last of Us and God of War three, those aren't really remasters. They're yeah. The, the, I can also right now. The reason why I got last one master because I I got it for free and yeah, it looks no different from the PS three version. Well, the frame rates increased, but otherwise it doesn't look that much improved. Yeah, just take the word remaster out because it ain't really remastered. Because it's just like on... um, the, the same thing with the uh, un well, actually, with the, the Uncharted games, there is a noticeable difference it, well, with Uncharted One at least. Yeah. Like you look at Uncharted Three, it looks it barely looks any different from the PS3 version. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but it's like Uncharted One looks so much better on the PS4. Yeah, it does. You you can see Nathan's beard in that one. <laughs> no, his his skin actually has texture now. Yeah, oh, yeah, that's what I meant when I said beer. Yeah, he, he got textured. Because the PS1 version, uh, it's like the PS3 flat, version. He's flat in the PS3. <laughs> <laughs> also, one thing that kind of bothered me, oh, actually, um, I'm still talking about that, but it's like he had like a green beard and fucking. He had like green, fo uh, like 5 o'clock shadow in, in Uncharted 2, and that bothered me. Wait, who had a green Law. beard? Somewhat. <laughs> uh, Drake did in Uncharted 2. He kind of has, like, green 5 o'clock shadow. Oh. <laughs> and wow. it looks really weird. <laughs> Alright. So oh, hopefully... It's we'll... a solid event, and I'm hoping that they do get the third-party support that this system desperately needs. Yeah. I guess, I guess we're all talked down now. That's all pretty much what to say about the Nintendo Switch. I think that's about it, yeah. Yeah, so any more thoughts? Yeah, I guess not. So, you guys wanna wrap this up now? Yes, let's wrap this up so I can go to sleep. I do have to All work right. in the morning. All right, so so that that's our discussion for the Nintendo Switch event. Hope you guys enjoyed as we did. So we, we see you guys next time when we when we get back on our regular uh, recordings. We may do the uh, Fire Emblem uh, discussion, but we'll we'll think about we'll, we'll think about that. 
or we'll see. <laughs> you guys can if have not, fun I'll with that one. I'll just do one myself, at some or something. I don't know. All right. All right. So we'll, we'll see you guys later, folks. Later. Later. Bye.